Un Academy. Let's crack it. This is a great myth, of course, and seeing that all three of us are engineers, you can also say that it's a easier for engineers to get into CAD, but it's not. It's a myth totally because whatever uh, syllabus comes in CAD, right? It's basically anyone who has done tenth after that, he can he or she can give the exam, right? Now, all three of them spoke about uh, academics and profile, and like you know, see if if a person doesn't have that engineering degree, what else do institutes look for when you apply to an IIM? So we all know that there is academics, which means your tenth, twelfth graduation ka marks jayega. Then you have got your MBA prof, so you've got your profile. Okay, so now I would like to come over to this myth. which is there in the market that you need to have a humdinger profile in order to reach the top ions bhai agar mera profile itna dhakad hai hi to fir main ion mein kyun ja raha why can't i go to harvard or some other place and do my mba from there if i can sponsor it so that brings me guys to the next question over here is it necessary to have a great profile or i should say a super profile to crack iim this time i would like to start with sankal uh definitely so uh there are two vital uh, you know parts to building a great profile one is definitely your past academics which when i say academics that, that means uh, your marks in 10th 12th and your graduation so that is one thing which is definitely now not in your control uh the second part is uh, your extracurricular activities so that is something which is say for example uh, in your graduation college you have been part of you know some cultural committees or you know there are a lot of fests being organized in multiple colleges so if you are somehow associated with that so if you are an mba aspirant there is a high possibility that you are still in your last year or second last year of your college so try and get a little bit of involvement in those activities uh, not just for a certificate and but definitely for the experience that you will get once you are involved in that activity it will not help you get an interview call but if you do get an interview call during the interviews you will have something uh you know fun to talk about something uh, which you can explain to the interviewer passionately so what was that element on your cv when you went for your interviews uh for me i had been a part of multiple things in my graduation college i had been doing photography i was a part of the placement committee and then i was the core organizer of the fest so i had a lot of things to talk about and uh, one interesting thing in one of the top mba colleges interview Uh, when it started it started with some of you know engineering questions though i had prepared a lot for them but they were too tricky for me to handle and i sensed that you know this interview is not going in the right direction so you saved your day by taking them in the direction of the things that you like exactly okay. so uh, so they came up with that question that what else so i told them that uh, sir i do photography and uh, i was carrying some of the photographs that i clicked in my uh, profile hmm. like in my folder and they say that okay we will love to see it and once they saw those pictures and you know one of those pictures also got selected in a uh, photography uh, fest organized by canon so that was something which kind of changed the course of interview in a positive manner for me samajh hi gaye honge aap farhan qureshi idiots okay so that is something that saved your day okay yes. what else do you have to tell us on this particular thing uh i think that's all uh, so you know do not uh, care too much about your academics that is something which is there in the past which is already done that is something which is not in your control uh coming to the second part uh, do kind of you know get involved in some of those fun activities some of those society some of those events uh, so that you have something to talk about in your interview so that you are confident in your interview and uh, that's all you know focus on your preparation focus on scoring best marks that you can and if you are working hard uh, then definitely uh, you will make it to your dream i So Sakshi sitting as pretty as a princess now it's your turn. So what was that on your CV which helped you impress them? I mean since we are talking about this myth how good is it to how important is it to have a great profile? What helped you? Uh so before uh, answering your question I'll add two more elements to what makes a good profile. So as you said extracurricular activities 
now he talked about positions of responsibility that you participate in fests and various events that are happening in your undergrad college right so apart from that you can also be involved in sports so that is one thing so i know a lot of people who have been playing sports as i mentioned earlier as well i am i am the one who has been who has been a sportsman since uh, my childhood days so that also helps you a lot so even if you are a part of your college sports team or maybe you are playing something on a professional level so that is also something which is going to help you now you must be saying that you know no i am not into sports have not been playing so one more element that you can explore is doing in- internships so i think internships also play a very vital role by when you are in your undergrad college and are preparing for cat so you can explore internships in the area in various areas of management for example if you are enthusiastic about marketing you can probably look for an for an internship in a uh, startup or maybe a relevant internship which would align with your future goals so one thing that you can exp- uh, explore is yes doing internships at the, in your you know second year or third year i don't think that there's a lot of pressure in your undergrad so you definitely can explore that that path that would definitely help you in you know building a good profile now if i talk about myself yes i have been into sports uh, during my undergrad i am a national level table tennis player i uh, like to mention that so that was something which was a talking point uh, during my interviews and that definitely gave me an edge not because of the certificate but because of uh, if you are a sportsman you you gain a lot of skills and you know that is something that builds builds you as a person so that really helped me apart from this yes i did uh, two internships during my undergrad which definitely helped me in aligning my goals and which also helped me during my mba uh, once i was into an iim it also helped me during my mba to you know actually explore into that field further apart from this yes uh, i would also mention that 10th and 12th marks have been in the past but you can still work on your graduation marks try to focus a little more on academics try to have a good pointer probably an 8.5 or a 9 above point, pointer if you can because i'm assuming that most people would be you know in the second last year or probably the last year of their graduation what's what what has been done has been done but definitely there is that one last leg that you can you know you can push yourself a little harder and get your grades a little better if they've not been that good so far because that definitely would matter okay so kostav what do you have to say well it's almost everything has been said by both of them but i would just like to add a couple of points so in a good cv so the main thing right like marks so marks and your cat score i think these two are more like a screening process right they will take you to the interview right so having good marks of course helps if by any chance you don't have that great marks try uh, getting good score in a cat and these two will get land you to the interview after the interview what things like they said you should have so i think what the interview is interviewer is trying to gauge is have you done something that you are interested in can i talk to you about something for the rest of the interview session if you have that present in your interview that that will work for you it can be sports it can be extra curricular activities hobbies so for example it is photography for sankal it was table tennis for sakshi and coming to me so i was i was an aerospace engineer as i mentioned earlier so it's a little bit weird for people ki you have done a aerospace engineer degree why do you want to do an mba hmm. so that was a great matlab i knew that it was, that question was going to come and thankfully because of that i was well prepared for it and i started uh, my talk uh, with that and later on i came to my hobby so like her i also like to play sports i have been in all my school and college uh, football teams and basketball teams and in general i like playing sports and as hobbies i didn't have that much but so i didn't i never took the conversation that side so yeah so you you took the conversation mainly towards your aeronautical engineering mm-hmm. and sports yeah. whatever you had okay yeah. so did you continue playing those games during your two years at i am ahmedabad ha ha sahi suna aap <laughs> right ha during those two years did you do that or no definitely i did i couldn't have survived without playing sports there okay uh, i know it's a little hard I mean you all know how hectic it can be people don't get time to sleep this is what <laughs> i have heard i mean ek city bank hai the city never sleeps and ek iim hai the iim never sleeps 
so <laughs> how did you manage to take out time for this maybe it's it's never the case that you don't get to sleep you can manage and many people do manage to sleep for uh, for at least 6 7 hours and i know it will sound a lot but yeah you can uh, you i have seen people who actually slept for 8 hours and uh, did well and for me uh i made i i made sure that i play at least for an hour every day it be it football be it basketball be it table tennis i if 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 one day i didn't go to play for for an hour or so it next day i couldn't feel uh, it wasn't myself i wasn't myself that time so yeah if you want for anything be it sports be it extra curriculars anything you can take time in life, even in i am and other anywhere Okay, so it's all about making time. Yeah. Anyway, guys, we heard it from them. Ah, uh, so you know, I would like to say something over here when we, when it comes to profile. I feel it's important, but don't make it like you know something that is the only thing that you need. You can't be a superman. You can't have good academics. You can't have a great profile in terms of extracurricular, co-curricular, and all. हॉबीज भी बहुत सेंटिलेटिंग टाइप्स होने चाहिए सब कुछ नहीं हो सकता है आपके पास सर्टिफिकेशन भी कर लिए लाइक क्लास में मेरे क्वेश्चन आते हैं मैम कितने सर्टिफिकेशन करूँ ठीक है मेरे पास अभी छः महीने हैं कितने सर्टिफिकेशन कर लूँ भाई छः महीने में ही आपको कैट ही प्रिपेयर कर लो बिकॉज गाइज दे आर गोइंग टू लुक एट द कैट परसेंटाइल दैट्स नंबर वन एकेडमिक्स नंबर टू एंड योर प्रोफाइल दैट्स ओवरऑल प्रोफाइल आपने एक्स्ट्रा करिकुलर को करिकुलर हॉबीज क्या कुछ आया है उसमें स्किल्स स्किल अपग्रेड एंड ऑल so basically what we are trying to say is a little bit of everything is fine but then don't get obsessed with the, this thing called certifications and aapka jo internships chal raha hai and this is what is happening in the market today okay everybody is obsessed and there is this rat race going on har mba aspirant ko internships ta 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 aad das kar lene hain ठीक है डू नॉट वेस्ट योर टाइम एंड एनर्जी ऑन दो थिंग्स इवन इफ यू हैव वन और टू थिंग्स ऑन विच यू कैन टॉक लाइक आई लाइक द पॉइंट वॉट कॉस्तव सेड दैट द इंटरव्यू वॉन्ट्स टू अंडरस्टैंड कैन आई टॉक टू यू अबाउट समथिंग फॉर द नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी मिनट्स फिफ्टीन मिनट्स कॉन्वर्सेशन कर सकते हैं कि नहीं कर सकते डू यू हैव एनी थिंग इन योर लाइफ वर्थ टॉकिंग राइट सो इट कैन बी योर एकेडमिक्स जो मेरा नहीं ठीक है इनमें से सबका होगा होगा एनी वे कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट थिंग फोटोग्राफी any passion anything that you do with like due diligence it can be photography it can be anything it can be gardening it can be reading you can be an avid reader theek hai ye ho sakta hai aapka it can be a sport that you play un dono ke case mein sakshi aur kostav ke case mein table tennis and football and ye sari cheeze thi maujood so anything that you are passionate about otherwise ye nahi ho raha hai to do one certification course or certification course bhi kaisa not irrelevant bas kar liya वहां जब वो बात करना शुरू करेगा इंटरव्यू यू डोंट नो एनीथिंग अबाउट इट सो माय पॉइंट इज डू ओनली वन और टू लेट्स से यू डू ऑन डेटा एनालिटिक्स लेट्स से यू डू ऑन एक्सेल लेट्स से यू डू ऑन ट्रेडिंग दीज आर द थिंग्स दैट आर सो मच इन डिमांड दीज डेज तो भाई बस इतना कर लो कैट का परसेंटाइल अच्छा ले आओ एंड जस्ट स्टे रिलैक्सड दैट इज द बिग थिंग स्टे काम हाउ काम वो यू गाइज ड्यूरिंग योर प्रिपरेशन डेज आई थिंक so when i started my preparation mm-hmm. uh, i you know realized the importance of being calm because okay. you could have prepared very well you know you know if so my you know mentor told me that if i give you this cat paper and you are sitting at your comfort of your home you are definitely going to solve you know much of the questions okay. uh, you know you'll be able to crack cat right now without much of preparation but it's also about practice and the calmness that you bring to the table during those three odd hours of the examination so uh, for me i started yoga uh, okay. every day i started you know at least 20 30 minutes of yoga and i considered it as a very important part of my preparation my overall preparation okay. and that helped me a lot uh, you know again going with an example when i started with my uh, quant uh, lrdi section the most dreaded one uh, you know the for the first 15 20 minutes i was not able to solve any question and i had jumped from one set to the other at least three sets i had gone through but then that calmness held me i thought that okay let's get back to the strategy let's solve you know one or two questions from each set and that is what i did and i was able to you know uh, get through that section okay so calmness i'm sure helps you 
सो इंस्टेड ऑफ चेजिंग दीज थिंग्स एंड गेटिंग ऑल फ्लस्टर्ड विद दीज मेथ्स हमने अभी दो ही किए हैं आई एम कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट वन हैंग इन देर सो इंस्टेड ऑफ गेटिंग फ्लस्टर्ड विद ऑल दीज मेथ्स इट्स बेटर टू जस्ट स्टे काम एंड लाइक ही सजेस्टेड यू गा और मे बी एनी अदर थिंग दैट हेल्प्स यू सूद योर नर्व यू कैन गो फॉर अ वॉक फॉर दैट मैटर ना गाइज यू नो वॉट बिफोर आई टेक यू ओवर टू द थर्ड क्वेश्चन पूछना है ना थर्ड मिथ 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 भी तो इनसे बट बिफोर गाइज आई टेक यू ओवर टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आई हैव गॉट समथिंग फॉर यू आई यू फॉर इट डेफिनेटली कुछ करते हैं थोड़ा सा कुछ तूफान ही हो जाए ऑल राइट सो ओके नाउ फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू हु वंडरिंग की ये है क्या ऐसे थोड़ा सा मस्ती करते हैं बीच में बहुत देर से इनके फंडास सुन रहे हैं है ना सो वी आर डन विथ टू क्वेश्चन टू मिथ्स ओके नाउ दिस इज कॉल्ड डी कोड दिस ओके सिंस यू गाइज आर लाइक वेरी शार्प देखते हैं कितने शार्प है ना गाइज क्या कहते हो आप चलो ओके सो वी आर गोइंग टू डू दिस डी कोडिंग थिंग ओके and i have got one question for each one of you i'll give you an example let's say it's uh, i'll give you a term so let's say okay. it's global warming okay so i'll give you the clues now glow bulb warm may all right so the clues are like this glow is shine okay bulb is it's in your ball something it's in your coat okay so you have to decode that okay what is in your coat the ball is in your coat war is uh, sorry big battle is war okay and then chinese dynasty so that right. is ming got it so this is like just an example this is what is going to come your way now in the next 3 minutes so get ready for this and these three terms like one each these terms are related to mba like you know everybody knows these terms these days so start kis se kare ladies first <laughs> nice right okay chalo let's start with you So the first set of clues for you is not night that's the first one not night okay, okay. next half ratan okay third one old indian coin a very common word old why are there so many words no these are the these are the parts into which that term has been oh, broken okay. down okay So I said the first one is not night. Keep doing it with me since you're not writing it down. Not night. The second is half ratan. Okay? The third is old Indian coin. Just keep coming up with these words and you combine them together you get the word the, the, the term. The fourth one is full bruce. Abhi half ratan tha, abhi ye full bruce. B R U C E. Okay? And the last one is check marks. Check marks. I think this is getting difficult. I think we should definitely solve it together. Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys. So the three of them want to do it together. All right, fine. Let's see a group effort. Okay. Chalo. ठीक है. Once again, mm. I'm giving you the clues. Yeah. Yeah. So the term is related to MBA. It's a trending term these days. Okay. okay. And the clues are not night. Day. Let's Very go with day. Very okay. good. Very good. This is how you start. Mm. Very good. <laughs> the second one is half ratan. Hmm. Come on, Tata. So half ratan, I said. Ta. Very Ta. good. I like that. Ta. Very nice. So now so you get data. data. Very good. Data. The third data. clue is the third clue is old Indian coin. Anna something. You Anna. got it. Anna. Lovely, lovely, Anna. lovely. Anna. Yes, yes. Data yes. analysis. Data. Are we talking? Okay. You got it. Very good. So the term was data analytics, but they said data analysis. I'll give it to them. So teamwork is good. I'm sure you're learning this over here. आगे आयंस में भी आप यही करिएगा, you know. Tell your professors we want to work in teams. जैसा इन लोगों ने यहाँ पे चालाकी की है. Okay. 